Welcome to the third of our three videos of worship for Sunday the 15th of May 2022. We're going to begin this video with an affirmation of our faith uh, in three parts for Father, Son and Holy Spirit and it's a responsive uh, affirmation such as is often used uh, in shorter services. Do we believe in the Father of all, God the Creator who made us and formed us? Yes, we believe and trust in Him. He is the Father of Jesus. Do we believe in the Saviour of all, Jesus God's Son who came down to redeem us? Yes, we believe. Because we believe Jesus has risen again, uh, we believe that God pays attention to us, the human race. So let's pray to him. Let's pray for the world, for our communities and for those in need. Let's bring our needs to God and rejoice in his desire to answer our prayers. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending us Jesus. We thank you that he came into the world to teach us what you're like and to set standards before us to which we can aspire. We lament that our world has often failed to live up to your standards, but we thank you that you did not give up on us. On the contrary, you came and died for us in the person of your Son, and rose again, showing that our sins could be forgiven, and that we could have a bright future with you. Help us, therefore, to be encouraged to bring our needs before you, to lay our hearts open in your presence and to look for you to answer our prayers. Lord, in your risen power, hear us and help us. Lord Jesus, you went about on the earth healing people and seeking their good. We pray for the many people who are sick at the moment, sick in our own communities, sick on a national scale, and sick internationally. We particularly remember the victims of the Covid pandemic, those who have inadequate medical care in their own countries, those who have been displaced as refugees and therefore their health has suffered. We pray that you would help us to make a real effort to make the world a better place in terms of health care. Bless those who seek to research how disease is communicated and transmitted so that it may be stopped. Bless those who seek to see how the human body can be enabled to fight against disease and therefore restored to health. Bless those who must deal with those who are approaching their end. And bless us all as we seek your goodness in the land of the living. Lord, in your risen power, hear us and help us. Our Father, we pray for the politics of our nations. Because it seems that humans always have to have leadership, we pray for leaders who would be willing to give themselves in service for their people, rather than simply feathering their own nests or looking after the interests of people who are like themselves. We pray for integrity in political life, and we ask for those newly elected to power that they would not usurp their positions or be tempted to rest on their laurels. Give members of political parties the humility to fight their corner when it is necessary to do something different from the party line, and give them the resolve 
to make party politics into a place of issues rather than of personalities. Lord, in your risen power, hear us and help us. We pray, Father, for the progress of the war in Ukraine, asking you that it would be reversed and that the Russians would be driven back, asking you that the West would find some way of intervening in a constructive manner which makes a difference, asking you that the Ukrainians would continue to have a future and a homeland. We pray that there would be a way of de-escalating tensions in the world. We ask that you would help us to get media right so that truth can be broadcast to all, so that no one will be trapped in a web of lies and disbelief and therefore be unable to see what the political realities are before them. We ask you, Heavenly Father, not that Putin would be humiliated, but that his mistakes would be corrected and would be taken away and we ask that there would be proper leadership in countries like Russia which represents the people and which does the good for the people which they deserve. Lord in your risen power hear us and help us. As summer comes we expect Heavenly Father the holiday season we pray that you would help us to cut our cloth according to our welfare and we ask that those who have budget difficulties would nevertheless be able to get good holidays without having to spend a lot of money on them. We pray that you would enable us to look after each other's welfare and we ask that you would help us to be a community in which people can enjoy themselves, have fun and feel satisfied in their ministries. Lord, in your risen power, hear us and help us. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for those who have fallen on hard times, asking you that food banks, that counselling services and that government assistance would meet their needs. We ask you for a proper way through the present economic crisis which engulfs the world and we pray that you would help us to be concerned for the welfare of all. Lord, in your risen power, hear us and help us. Renew our faith, O Lord our God. Transform our situations by your living presence, so that those who make requests in weeping may be answered in songs of joy. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect for the Fifth Sunday After Easter Almighty God, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, you have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. As you have put into our minds good desires, help us to bring them to good effect through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray as Jesus taught his first disciples in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Our final hymn today is by Timothy Dudley Smith to a traditional hymn tune uh, by Arthur Sullivan. Jesus, Prince and Saviour, please join our choir as we sing together.
and so may Jesus, the Saviour and the rightful Lord of humanity, give us his love and his power as we seek to serve him and do his good works in the world. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.